There is a deadly occult group that is coming up. They call them the canker worms. <laughs> The canker worms. Now, this is a new era occult that has never existed before. And the way they operate, no one will understand. But what I tell you now, when you see the signs, you just know. Amen. Yes. The deadly occult group called the canker worms. Seeing a terrible occult group meant only for men, of which their color flag is sky blue mixed with pink. Everywhere they go, they carry along with them either plain sky blue handkerchief or plain blue handkerchief with spotted pink color design on the background. When this touch the body of any female, it automatically binds this female forever to this man as their slaves forever, using their stars and the stars of all the children in their womb to stand before all to stand above them, above them all in every aspect of life, so that they are told they must take the responsibility of catering for these women, their children, and even their married husbands. So this, you see, this thing it looked very strange to me, very strange. But to, to tell you true, eh, if a human being can be sleeping with an animal, then nothing can really be strange. <laughs> They will not mind feeding the women, their children, and even their husbands to their dying day, since they use the body of the women to give contact to the stars and greatness of their husbands. These men are called canker worms in the spirit, locusts, caterpillars, and even palmer worms. These are destiny eaters. Stars, they deprive you from your stars and leave you useless. At the same time, eh, they stand and see they are the most philanthropic. Let me just, let me just go over you see. The most wicked occult men or group that will ever exist when it comes to the affairs of humanity. Because at the same time, they can kill, poison, and afflict others with all sorts of sicknesses and diseases. Or even make them run mad by just using those handkerchiefs in their right hand to gain contact with anyone. But true Christians are always the exception. And when they see one, they will obviously just know. For these men are pythons aiming 24-7 to swallow every good and perfect thing the Lord has given to all others they can. This occult group is still being strategized in hell. It's not yet operational in this earth realm, but yet to exist. The very first time people will know that they have come into contact with this canker worms occult society is that after they, are, after they afflict you, you will begin to see yourself sitting before a table where different dishes of food will be placed in that table for you to enjoy, especially fish. But on trying to eat, you will come to notice that it is all infested all over with toilet maggots. Yes, toilet maggots is what they call canker worms. <laughs> Which is called canker worms, so that you are restrained from eating the very fruit of your own labor. And why this happens, and when it happens this way, they will laugh and mock at you to your face. This occult society will begin in Australia, having, having seven main members, each one from every continent, who will be the ones to act as occult grandmasters to carry out branches or build branches in their various seven continents where they come from. They don't get married, but rather they know what they do. Let me just say it that way. <laughs> so the form these guys will use in the spirit to do their operation they, they will come out in the form like kangaroos you know kangaroos keep not so but one skip to these guys like if just a skip to these guys as kangaroo can be from Australia to US so they travel that way yes the one very typical characteristics with these men from the underworld is that they will so much appear to be sanctimonious, very humble, loving, caring, and philanthropic to the core, so that most of the things they distribute to needy and others will be passed in magenta colored ribbons or sky purple, or let's say light purple ribbons. 
of which after using and consuming such goods, which was wrapped in this evil light purple ribbons, your greatness leaves you and goes to them. So that you begin to repeatedly, so that you begin to repeatedly for the rest of your life, for men, you begin to repeatedly for the rest of your life be tormented. Having those dreams, the, the dreams I just explained now. Amen. So I just rushed over this prophecy. But at least you guys got a grip, not so. Yes. The next prophecy. 